Now, take a look at this ugly website trying to sell fruit yogurts. So how about we turn this WordPress website into this beauty, where when you scroll vertically with your mouse or trackpad or even with your keyboard, the slides snap magnetically and vertically for a sleek and modern first impression. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach you to do in this video, for free and without any additional plugin. And the beauty of it, it's super easy to do, whether you're using the Elementor page builder or the Spectre page builder. Hello, I'm Kay from the Aspa team, and before making videos here on YouTube, I used to run my web design studio for years. And one thing I quickly noticed is that when done right, eye candy web design and interactions can have a major impact on the first impressions. And I can pretty much guarantee that what you're going to learn today is going to impress your website visitors. The name of the game is to keep your visitors as long as possible on your website and then throw in your cost to action. Now, first things first, let me thank this channel viewer because the idea for this tutorial came from that person. Thank you. Now for the setup, I'm using the free WordPress Astra theme. Now you may use any theme you want, but you may as well use Astra if you want to follow along. And for this video, I'll be using the Elementor page builder, but if you're using the Spectral page builder, the principles are the same and I will show you how it works. And for both Elementor and Spectra, you need a little bit of code for the magic to happen and all you need to do is just copy it and paste it. So no panic here. And of course, the code will be accessible through a link in the description of this video. And of course, if you're not subscribed, are you serious? Come on, it's just one click. Okay, let me check. Oh, you did it. Thank you. Okay, the next step is to create a new page. So in WordPress, you want to go to pages, add page. Let's give it a name and next hit on publish and publish one more time. Next, click on edit with Elementor. And first we're going to click here on the Astra icon, click on general settings and where you see high title, we're going to toggle it on. Next, let's collapse this and click on Astra settings. Make sure the page is set to full width. Then scroll down and where you see transparent header, you want to click on enabled and then hit preview changes. So this is going to reload the Elementor page builder. Next, click on the plus sign and we're going to add a new container. So choose Flexbox and we're going to select this one here. So this is the structure panel. If you want to hide it, you can use a keyboard shortcut. It's control and I on the PC and command plus I on a Mac. So once the panel is open, you want to double click here where you see container and we're going to rename it to main container. So with our main container selected, we're going to go to layout and where you see content width, you want to change it to full width. Next, where you see width, you want to click on the arrow and change the unit to VW and give it a value of 100. Next, where you see min height, same thing, click here, change the unit this time to VH. And one more time, the value should be 100. Next, where you see gaps, you want to have zero, both for the column and the row. Next, click on the advanced tab and where you see margin, you want to give it zero all around and the same for padding, zero all around. Great. Next, let's select our main container here in the structure panel. Let's right click and hit duplicate. So I'm going to rename this to slide one, hit enter and you want to drag it inside main container, just like this. And that's very important for the rest of the tutorial. It should really be inside main container. So with my slide one container selected, I'm going to click here on the plus sign and I'm just going to drag a heading widget here. Now, once again, you need to make sure that the heading is within slide one and not within just main container at the first level. Basically, it should look like this. So I'm going to double click here and change the text once again to slide one. Then I'm going to click on style and I'm going to align it in the center. And here you can pick the color. Next, let's go back to our structure panel and let's click here on the slide one container. Then go to layout and where you see items here, you want to justify the content in the center vertically. Next, click on style, background, and let's select classic and let's pick a green color. It's just to differentiate the slides. Next, go to advanced and where you see padding, you want to give it 60 pixels all around for the desktop version. Next, let's go in tablet mode and here we want to give it 40 pixels all around. And last but not least, the mobile, this time let's give it 20 pixels all around. Okay, so let's go back in desktop mode 
And next, where you see CSS classes, this is super important. I can't insist enough. You need to add a class spelled exactly like this, vert, V-E-R-T, exactly like this. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Next, we're going to collapse slide one, right click and hit duplicate. Let's rename it immediately to slide two. And it's right here. So it's a bit of confusion. They look the same. So let's rename it to slide two. Next, let's select here our slide two container in the structure panel, then go to style and let's change the color to a different one. Once again, so that we have a visual clue, it's a different slide. Now, just to be sure, you want to go to advanced and make sure once again that the CSS class vert spelled like this is present, which should be the case because we just duplicated slide one. Now let's repeat the operation. You know the drill now, duplicate. Let's rename it to slide three. Let's scroll down. Let's change the text to slide three. Then let's select our slide three container, go to style and let's change to a different color. And one more time, let's double check in advance that the CSS class is set to vert spelled like this. Next, let's hit publish. And then let's preview our page by clicking here on this icon. Okay, so now if we scroll, well, nothing happens. <laughs> it just scrolls the way it should be. And I know that's exactly what I wanted you to see because I want you to see the difference with the magic coming up. And let's go back to the Elementor page builder. And next, I'm going to collapse everything and select my main container. Next, go to advanced. And this time in CSS classes, you're gonna add a class spelled like this main code. Once again, spelled exactly like this. Next, we're going to copy the code for which once again, you'll find all the instructions in the description of this video and it's completely free. So with the whole text selected, I'm going to use another shortcut to copy. And now back in the Elementor editor, I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to start typing HTML. So you want to use this widget here. I'm going to put it right below the slide one title. And then here, I'm gonna click here and I'm just gonna paste and you should see these shortcuts on screen right now. So let me paste the code. And next I'm going to hit publish. And now let's hit the preview icon. And now as I start scrolling, you can see it snapping magnetically. And we see these little dots here that act as a navigation. So as you can see, it is working. Now let me try with the keyboard. So here, as you can see, it's working perfectly. Awesome, right? Now, this is the foundation and from here, you can do pretty much anything you want. And that's exactly what I've done here. I've added beautiful, gorgeous animated video backgrounds. I boldened the text, made it bigger and added a button. And there are actually variations to this. And of course, I've provided the code for each variation that once again, you can access through a link in the description below. Now, version one is the first one we already added, as you can see. We can scroll magnetically, vertically, and we see the dotted navigation. But as we reach the last slide, if I keep on scrolling down, well, nothing happens. So this is called a loop off. Now, version two is almost the same as version one, but there is no dotted navigation. So as we scroll down, it snaps magnetically. And when we reach the end, it's still a loop off. Only difference, no dotted navigation. Now let's take a look at version three. So version three has the same dotted navigation and the same effect, but it has what I call a loop on. So take a look at this as we reach the last slide. If I keep on scrolling down, look what happens. We're going back to the first slide. So the loop never ends. By the way, if I scroll up, it goes to the last slide. So if you want a never ending loop of slides, that's the way to go. Now let's take a look at version four. Well, version four is almost the same. The only difference is that there is no dotted navigation. But as I scroll down, you will see, I keep on scrolling down and there you go. The loop is on. So pick your favorite version and let's say you wanna switch versions. All you need to do is open the corresponding file. We're going to copy the code, then go back to Elementor in our HTML code widget. Going to select everything, remove everything and just paste the new code. Then hit publish. And now let me go back to the front end and refresh. And voila, you see our data navigation appearing here. And if I double check, I reach the end, my loop is on. So this is version three. Now you may be wondering, what about responsive design? What about the mobile? 
Well, the good news is that by default, the code is ready for responsive web design. So take a look at this beautiful tablet version. And what about this beautiful smartphone version? Look at this. And if you're using the Spectra page builder, the principles are the same. So here I got my main container. And if I click on it and go to advanced, then advance one more time, you see our main code class here. Next, I'm going to expand here and we got slide one, slide two and slide three. So if I pick slide one, for example, once again, go to advanced, advanced, and you see our vert class right here. And the same for slide two and slide three. Now, if we go back to slide one, we can see here we have a custom HTML block. And I just use the code dedicated for Spectra, which once again, you can access through a link in the description below. And with the appropriate code, I just pasted it here in our custom HTML block. Then I just save and click here to view our page. And there you go. As I scroll, it's snapping magnetically. Super easy. Now you may be wondering, how do I come up with those beautiful images and beautiful animated video backgrounds? Well, you're in luck because this video is part of a eye candy web design series and I created a dedicated tutorial on the topic. So you may want to take a look at this video next if you want to know how to create those beautiful video animated backgrounds. You're welcome.